Well, just wanted to get one last good look around. Yeah, garbage. There's a lot more. One last good look around before I start clearing the small stuff out of the understory with a with a chainsaw. And so I've gotten quite a bit of it cleaned up. Got a lot of the undergrowth chopped down. Home sweet home. Uh, tarp up kitchen ish sort of but so let's can see what's going on a lot more easily with some of the undergrowth chopped down nettles a lot of nettles Fortunately, not too much poison ivy, which is a real surprise. Um, having done a quite a bit of survey, there's a lot more dead trees in here than one would realize. And really, it's, it's difficult to see what exactly is going on with the canopy until some of this maple uh, the shorter maple gets cleared out and then I'll be able to see uh, what's going on with some of the other trees a lot more clearly A lot of this stuff I'm raking up into these piles of organic material and rotten wood and I'm sure that'll make some nice planting material later on. A lot of this area is going to get cleaned out. I think this is where we're going to put our timber bamboo. We suspect that this particular one here is northern spice bush and I like the kind of flattened shape it has looks nice smells nice so we're leaving it we're going to conserve as much of that as possible. And really it goes back quite a ways. I haven't even looked at the other side of this hump yet, which is where our vultures are nesting back there. See where the periwinkles growing up these trees here has killed some of them and is in the process of kill, killing the re killing some <laughs> more of them i think the really big one that that uh, uh grapevine is attached to that grapevine right there uh, I think we're going to leave that grapevine and get this large one, keep the keep it, and then a lot of this dead stuff needs to get cleared up. Can be turned into hugel cultures, what have you. I just want to get just for scale. I want to get this in here just so you can see how enormous some of these trees are this one's about average for our largest ones I'm going to put the rake in there for scale it's really uh, 
difficult to see in a picture how how large this tree really is but you can't see the top of it <coughs> and we have a quite a number I'd say maybe approaching a dozen this size uh, really large trees is that three feet in diameter I think haven't measured it across the stream bed here I'm thinking we might eventually build some weirs this area has been largely tilled out by grape vines these grapes are really destructive they, they pull the tops off the trees and they pull them every which way so a lot of this is going to be dead ones and leaners that are all going to have to and of course the grapes themselves are all going to have to come out when we get cleared that'll open up a lot of sun in here though yep seven minutes i should probably wrap it up huh <laughs>